Today I'm going to show you how to make a powerful slingshot out of some ordinary household items. This is what you'll need. Two metal hangers, 16 rubber bands, the size on the box says 1650. I bought these for less than a dollar at a local supermarket. A strong piece of fabric or leather to make the pouch. You can salvage one from an old sofa or something. I got mine from an old pair of shoes. And a set of pliers or wire cutters. Let's get started. First, we need to cut off the straight parts from both the hangers. These hangers are slightly thicker than the ones you will usually find at the laundry shops. Once you are done cutting, hold the two ends of the metal rods firmly with a set of pliers and with the other hand twist the two pieces from the other side winding them like this. Keep twisting the two rods until both of them are joined firmly and cannot be separated easily. Then bend this whole thing from the center to form a U shape. A slightly wider base like this one will give it a stronger hold in the hand. Now it's time to curl both the ends outwards. Hold it with a set of pliers about an inch from the end and bend it like this. It's important you don't close the loop all the way. You'll see why in just a moment. To make the pouch, take your piece of leather or fabric and punch two holes on either ends roughly about half a centimeter from the ends. Make sure you punch the holes and don't cut slits cause they can easily tear when you pull it with the bands. Now take four rubber bands in each hand and knot them together in a reef knot, like this. Do this for the other side as well. Once you have all this ready, it's time to put the whole thing together. Take one set of the rubber bands and knot it through one hole of the pouch, like this. Do the same for the other end as well. It is important you attach the bands to the pouch first. Once the pouch is done, take one of the bands and knot it on one side of the handle. For the other side, you first have to make the knot outside and then insert it through the opening in the loop, just like this. You can also just insert the bands and close the loop, but then they keep moving and can get damaged if they rub along the sharp ends of the handle. The slingshot is done now and you are ready to fire. This whole setup is very simple and powerful, and the best part is, all of the parts can be replaced at any time if they get damaged. If any of the rubber band breaks, you can easily undo the knots and replace it with a new one. Unlike the slingshots which you buy outside, if you break a band, you have to search for the exact same one to replace it. I picked up some relatively small stones I found lying around and loaded my slingshot. Let's take it for a test now. Make sure you use it outside and not to hit anyone or anything valuable. I just made this for fun and strongly discourage shooting birds or other animals with it. Just to demonstrate its strength, I'm using a thick glass bottle as my target. As you can see, the bottle doesn't stand a chance. It also shoots pretty far. You can also tweak the rubber band settings to your liking. If 8 bands a side is too much for you, you can reduce it to 6 bands a side or increase it to more than 8 if you've got thinner rubber bands. You can also add an extra set of bands to make it longer. This will make it shoot even further. Before I go, here's a helpful tip. 
Always store your rubber bands in the freezer. It prevents moisture loss and keeps the bands healthier for longer. That's it for now guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews, hacks and facts. Make sure you like my page on Facebook at facebook.com slash mybooth. I've put a link to that in the description as well. Click on the thumbnails to view my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.